well pressure switches. They can be used on air compressors. They can be used about anywhere you want to use them. We have here a square D. This one here happens to be a 3050. Some come in 2040. Some are in 3050. And I believe the other one is uh, 5070. They have directions. Usually maybe on the end. Some of them are inside. I don't know if you can read that or not. Basically what it tells you is turn nut number one clockwise to raise cut on and cut off pressure. The big one here. The big one here is number one. It's number two both the same size, the bigger spring, I should say. And what they're telling you is, basically this one here will raise both of the pressures. In other words, whatever you turn this one down, it'll raise it. This one here will only raise the cut-off pressure. So let's say you get your cut-off and cut-in pressure at 20 to 40 but you want it to go say 20 to 58 which will give you more of a volume of water to uh, have a little more pressure then what you want to do is you take the little one here the little spring and that's where you adjust your pressure not more air in the tank more pressure comes from this right here. Tightening this down clockwise. Turn it clockwise to increase your pressure in the tank without affecting your cut in. So in other words, if you got it to cut in at 25 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever you got it to cut in at, what you do is turn this one clockwise to increase your overall pressure. Do not add air because air will affect it and give it a off on off on effect. This is a 110. You can come in from either side. This is also quarter inch iron pipe mounting. Now this one here, what I like to do with this one is sometimes I put a longer pipe nipple in here because on a on a T for a well, there's a, there's a it comes out of the tank. And, and there's a couple spots and one of them is to put the pressure switch and one of them is to put your gauge. What I like to do is put the gauge directly in but I like to raise this a little bit just gives me a little bit of room to turn it around. Also these plug in here I don't know if you can see it and probably not. Try and get a different angle here. But inside of here and this is a quarter inch pipe nipple, but inside of there, there's a hole that's only an eighth of an inch. They plug, and when they plug, they screw up the switch. So the, what you need to do is, sometimes just clean them. It's a simple 110. All right, you can wire this. You can wire it pretty simple. I got to look here real quick. You got line one in, line two out. You got a line that comes in, that's your hot feed. You wire it in, you'll get a black and a white. Your ground goes here. The same with going to the pump motor is right here. You put your ground then out to the motor. And this switch, when it closes, opens and closes the contacts. When they're open like that, naturally they're not going to, they close, open, close, open, close. When they're closed, power's going through here, and that's what operates the switch. These come in another mounting besides the quarter inch pipe. They come in a, a flared, uh, about a quarter inch copper tubing or less. And I really don't like them because they're, they're wiggly and they're all over the place. So I like to go with these rigid ones if I can.